good, good. The film does touch sort of on a toxic way the relationship between stunt performer and the actor. Yeah. And having been a stunt performer working with Matt Damon and Brad Pitt, can you talk to me about how you do cultivate that relationship of trust between the actor and the stunt performer? Yeah, it's actually, it's pretty organic um, because, you know, you, you're, as a stunt performer, you're often testing the rigs that the, that the actors are going to be doing to perform the action. You're often um, training them in the choreography of the action. You're often um, demonstrating the movements for them. And so you're building this sort of... Um, this sort of physical language together with that actor, you know, this, the, the good ones and the smart ones and the ones that are letting their egos go. You know, they know that you're doing, you're helping them. And, um, and all the people you mentioned are those people. You know, I think when people have um, risen to that level in the business, it's because they're, they're super confident and they know um, it, this, that making a movie is a collaboration. And so you build, um, you actually build great trust with them, you know? Again, you're testing it before they get in it and you're, they're watching it and you're trying to explain to them how safe it can be and um, so they, they rely on you for their safety. I think being introduced at a really high proficient level teaches you a lot about kind of just the relationship that you can have with the stunt community and you start creating relationships with a really tight, small community really quickly. So uh, one of our stuntmen, uh, Jojo, was part of the stunt team on Black Panther. So right away, we already had a lot of, uh, of a, a shorthand on how to move, and he already knew a lot of my skill sets. So he would start preparing things and start having conversations to even advocate for me before I even showed up. Mm. So it was a really great introduction to a small community that can befriend you and learn from you and teach you as much as, as, as you teach them. So it was really great. Know your superpowers. Absolutely. Well, Hannah, you have a superpower in this film in playing a executive bigwig producer. Mm -hmm. And I loved, you love to hate her. But I was Good. wondering, <laughs> how much did you love or hate the wig that you were wearing? <laughs> 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 because the entire time, and you were fantastic, I'm like, is that a wig? And at certain points, I don't know if it was intentional that it was just in a little bit of a disarray, but talk about that experience. I mean, it sometimes was and sometimes wasn't. I learned to love her. She definitely looked like roadkill when we first started, <laughs> but I encouraged them to put a little weft in weft. it. Weft. So by the end, she was a bit more luscious, but I loved the fact that it so much took me away from myself, that and the glasses and all the gear. The and diet coke you know, the Yes, the, the bitten <laughs> down so nails. Good and the heavy kind of mainlining of Diet Coke. I mean, you know, th this is a woman who I thought probably gets about three hours, 30 seconds sleep a night because she is so immersed that she doesn't have any grip on reality anymore. Yeah. You know, she's become this crazy um, kind of power driven producer that has no night and day. You know, there's no space for anything else, which is why she's then a little skewed in how you get a movie done. Mm -hmm. Anyone but him. I didn't approve him. You know that. You are literally the last person on earth I want to see. It's Slap the shit out of you. I really could. And I'm open to that in a safer environment. It's not like I didn't want to apologize. You don't have to explain anything. It was just a flame. So how have you been? The whole reason for making this was just to sort of pay homage to them and to say thank you and to sort of show what we get to see every day on set, which is like, they take the hits for you. They do the most extraordinary things. They, uh, they risk more than anyone on set and then they disappear into the shadows and they, they sort of are so selfless and want it to seem like they were never there and it was all you. And it's just, it's just like such a, um, a strange thing that they're not credited for what they do. And so it just felt like a really exciting opportunity to sort of tell their story and, 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 and also to like link arms with them and especially yeah. David Lynch who is a former stuntman to sort of, you can't have, there's no better marriage of like material and directors. So it's very authentic and it was really exciting. Working with David, how does he bring the best out of you uh, in performance? He's, he's, it's his open heartedness. He's so uh, 
unprecious and there's no ego, there's no agenda. It's the best idea wins. Mm -hmm. He wants it to be your invention. He wants it to feel good in your bones. And he's just, it's just his openness, I think, and his spontaneity. And he's unafraid of throwing the kitchen sink at an idea, even if you don't end up sticking with it. It's just an exploration. And it's wonderful working with someone like that. Yeah, boy, stop! Later. Wanna go to a beach somewhere? Drink a spicy margarita! Make some bad decisions! Yes!